What's up aquaponic lovers? I'm really excited about this uh, video I'm making today because I added a new feature. As you can see, I had to pull the tarp back. I got an extra pipe right there. What the heck do I have going on? Oh, just the usual, usual stuff, you know, building and stuff. This whole assembly right here is now my new uh, project, which is right here. This whole pipe right here going down to the two inch, all the way over, up, out of there. And as you can see, it's draining quite nicely right in there. So, I'm sure everybody's wondering what the heck is so special about a pipe. Well, this is my new sand filter. That is completely full. Well, not completely full. It, it's full to about like right here. Uh, the whole bottom part of the entire thing is full of uh, pool filter sand. So that is just going to help uh, the water quality a little bit. And uh, this, I don't know if this is really going to help anything with the aquaponic garden, but I just thought this was a really neat idea and I wanted to try it. So that's why I did it. Um, later, I will probably incorporate it into, um, well, into this bucket, which is going to be turned into a squirrel filter, hopefully today or tomorrow. And it'll be in line and uh, going through the beds. That way the bacteria can all gather up in the sand filter and flow into the beds and uh, hopefully in the swirl filter as well. Probably do the uh, sand filter after the swirl filter. Um, probably just because that'd be the better way to do it, take all those solids out with the swirl filter. But uh, yeah, so let me show you how I built this sand filter. It's super simple and I decided to do a little bit different this time. I put, um, I went ahead and put uh, the pump itself inside a bucket. So let's go check that sucker out. So to break down how this all works, this is just a regular old bucket that uh, used to be a protein bucket. Had it sitting outside full of water for a long time so the chemicals should be all gone. Took the lid, drilled two holes in it. Uh, then I got another new pump. Set that sucker in there. So now this is going to be my little uh, filter type uh, basket so that, uh, you know, to try to keep some of the garbage from getting clogged up in the pump. And when you put the lid on, and when you put the lid on, it lines up just about perfect for that hole. So, and that puts pressure down on the pump because these are all just put together, just slip. I don't use any glue, trying to keep it a little more organic. So now I'm just going to come out of here with a uh, half inch pipe come up and uh, go to the new filter so let's see how that works all right next step I've got a two inch pipe here reducer uh, ready to go down to half inch and uh, literally just two inch pipe 290s but fill this sucker up with some pool filter sand so now the water is going to go through here and uh, Hopefully, that will just fluff the sand a little, and uh, we'll be able to get some clean water going. So let's hook this up and see if I can make it work. Well, like I said, that's how I built it, and it's super easy. And uh, since I've got the camera on, I will show up uh, some of the romaine that I planted out. Doing very nice. Everybody's sticking up very nice-like, except for the broken sections that I haven't cut off. I just kind of left them on to see what they would do, and they're not doing much. But uh, Romaine's doing very well. And if you go right on over here, the iceberg is also doing very well, standing up very tall. But last time I did iceberg, it was tremendous. I got so much lettuce out of, uh, I believe I only had six last time. This time I've got nine, so this ought to be interesting. But that's all we got so far. You can see the, how much aeration now the uh, little makeshift filter over there gets. That's why I put it right into there instead of just into the tub. Figure I just the shutoff valve there isn't leaking enough to get good water flow going through that filter. So I figured I'd add that one and worst case scenario it's overflowing good water right on that side right there and uh, overflowing it right back into the tank which doesn't really matter because it's already clean. So you can actually see uh, if you look well if you can see that uh, right there inside there it was starting to algae up and now all of a sudden we've already got all that algae and stuff moving around it's probably stuck to that filter pad and I'm probably gonna have to go ahead and clean that in a minute and 
throw this uh, tarp back on. And uh, that should be it for today.